What's up, gang? Welcome back to the channel. It is your girl, Brittany, and we are back with another vlog. Y'all, I was tempted to not pick up this camera today because your girl is looking crazy, okay? Eyelashes looking crazy. Y'all, yeah, they looking crazy. This bump on the forehead, right hand between my head, my eyebrows, like, looking crazy. Yeah, like, I was not going to pick up the camera today, but whatever it's whatever y'all see me every day y'all see the good the bad all that good stuff the cute the ugly today we just the face ain't facing like it need to be but everything else is looking good okay baby don't play with me don't play with me the outfit is doing very much what it need to do okay here I'm doing what needs to be done but anyway y'all i just sit right here and ate my food i had some leftovers from saturday night i was not letting no wings go to waste me and babe had went to the Irish pub on Saturday night. And we did not finish our food. Neither one of us finished our food. And I spent a lot of money on the wings. Like, my total ended up coming to like $78 or something crazy. And we both only had a 10-piece and fries and two drinks. We both had like one drink each. Two drinks. 78 something. But it's because they also charge. First of all, the wings was already kind of high for it to be a 10-piece. So that was the first issue the drinks wasn't even high the drinks i think was nine dollars and that was with some decent tequila what tequila it was i don't remember it don't matter but yeah the drinks is only nine dollars so that was eighteen dollars for the drinks so how we get 78 dollars you tell me the wings and the gratuity nonetheless it was good i wanted the wings they was good i never i didn't get to eat them yesterday for leftovers so i was like bring them wings to work with me so i did just that so they were good. I just ate most of them that we had left over. I'm full now though. Um, back at the Jizz Up. Um, I've been on the phone all day with Babe for the most part. <laughs> We've just been talking about a lot of stuff that's going on. Um, today is our first day of baseball practice. So y'all know. If, if y'all think I be talking about baseball a lot when it's baseball season. The only reason I talk about it so much is because that's all my husband be talking about. Like when it's time for a sport and like when we doing something, we are doing the hell out of it, okay? It literally becomes life like and then he's head coaching this year. I'm team momming this year. Can you under can you just imagine like how much energy and focus of our life is gonna be into baseball? Which is fine. I love it. I'm excited for the season. Um Yeah, so today, you know, we're gonna be meeting uh different kids, new kids. The season ain't even started yet, y'all. So they had like an early registration um, that the coaches know about. It's basically like pre-existing teams type thing. But because the open, they don't even open up the sign-ups for registration until February first. But they had pre-existing teams and whatnot um, have early access, early sign-ups or whatever. So. We had already been, I told y'all, we've been networking. I've been networking all year. <laughs> Not, it's only freaking January 29th. I'm about to use my grandma D birthday. And it's my cousin Jamila birthday. I need to, well, I talked to my grandma already. I need to make her a little post on Instagram. And my cousin Jamila. Jamila. Um, yeah. But basically, y'all, we've been talking about baseball and like, we're excited. Um, we got new kids. We got old kids. We got like it's four players I think from our old team. Um, so we have some new kids too that we have recruited, and you know we just gotta see how they do or like you know. But we're practicing so early that I feel like everybody could be developed. You know, like it's still January right now. Today's January 29th. Um, they usually don't even tell you because you have until you have the whole month of February to sign up. Like kids to register so we're definitely getting a, a good jump start we usually don't start practicing until damn near the season i remember the first year we played the first game was like a week or two after we started practicing after we knew who our team was and we usually have our game starting in april so yeah <laughs> can you imagine we hadn't played before nobody had really played before it was a whole new team 
and we only had about two weeks of practice before our first game and it's not even like we had 10 days of practice we had probably three four practices like just because you only practice two days a week technically and if the field if it rains practice get canceled so i remember it was like oh uh, yeah we're not ready <laughs> but last year we started late too we started pretty late last year um we started earlier than we started that first year but we still started late we started they probably hit us up in like march like after sign ups and stuff so it was like, dang, when they gonna tell us what team we on? Cause we be ready to sign up soon as February first hit. Like we been on it, like signing up early. So it's like you sign up and then you like waiting to get a message from a coach. And it's like, okay, where you know where's the team? So fortune, like I said, we just been very very proactive with it. Like I said, it's still January. We finna like not no intense practices this month. Um, but we definitely still want to get everybody comfortable with the basics. Like some people, most people have already played or. We know them because they played uh, probably football with us or whatever. So we know that they're athletic. Um, I think we probably only got like one or two people who I don't know of them playing any sport. But <laughs> we're willing to like, you know, because we know it's so early, they can be developed, hopefully. So practice starts today, y'all. I should have really brought me some clothes with me to work. I'm trying to think if I got anything, but I know I don't. So I'm going to have to get home because we're practicing because it's still winter. Of course, the time change is not a thing yet. It still gets dark early. Um, so we're only practicing for an hour from 5.30 to 6.30. Um, whereas when, you know, when the season change, we're going to be out there a little later and stuff. So, we're only going to get an hour in, but babe already kind of got his station and stuff. So, of course, I'll try to record some of the practice. Um, I know everybody's not going to be there. Some kids, are, some, some kids are still playing basketball. Um, <clears throat> well, the kids who are playing basketball are still playing basketball. So, we know we got a couple or a few who are playing basketball this year. So, they won't be at practice today. Um, but, we're excited to see who's going to be there and just to see what everybody looking like at for the first practice. Like see what y'all skill level is already like see what we need to work on and all that good stuff so yeah i'm gonna be out there like i said i'm gonna have to hurry up and go home he gonna get the boys early because he want to be out there early to already have his station set up that he's gonna have um so they'll be out there probably like at five o'clock but when i get off at five i'm just gonna head straight home change into something that i don't mind getting dirty I need to, me and him both need to order cleats. Because if I'm going to be out there in that mud like that, I'm not, I don't have any shoes that I'm willing to just play in a red dirty wind all the time. So, need to do that. <clears throat> and yeah, yeah. That's pretty much what's going on. Like, some exciting stuff. Y'all need to really go get this lash. Okay, so what had happened was, y'all saw it in yesterday's vlog. It was already looking crazy, right? So, I wake up this morning and I'll be like three and the inside like this was the problem all day the outside lash so the inside lash like this eyelash is perfectly fine this one the inside lash was gone so I got mad it was three o'clock in the morning I'm like ugh so I took off all of them shouldn't have did that I took off this last cluster in the middle and so I never was able to find the inside of it so this is actually one of my little you know the ones I had the person goes that's why it's so much thinner I end up trying to put these back on but they're not really doing it and it's just a mess I should have just took them all off all together but I feel like it would be quicker to just put them back on whatever anyway y'all I'm about to get back to work I just want to check in with y'all and say what's up to the game What's up? What's up? Um, yeah, I thought they were all right y'all i made it home to change clothes and look what i got on my north face jacket that y'all probably was telling me to throw away because it's cold out this thing and it's warm first day of practice hey
kids out there. Hey! I got another one at home. <laughs> How y'all doing? Good. Was it hard to get here at 5 30? Okay, I was like, this might be too early because I know I can't personally. I, I don't get off until five. Oh. I probably should have took clothes to work uh -huh. to change into, and so I could have just came straight here. But it's okay. I mean, you don't want to get here when you gotta work. Right, mean, right. Get out of the way, sincere. Hurry up. Good job. Good job. Good job, everybody. Why you gotta throw so hard, Trudy? <laughs> Good job. Good job. Good job. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, I scoot over a little bit. A tad bit. Scoot over. Sit here. Scoot over. Scoot over the back right there. Okay. Nothing but ball, Elijah. First day of practice, going pretty good. Good hit, JV. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get my stand because y'all missed me do some great stuff over there. I couldn't hold the base while I was trying to catch the ball. You need me to be on the base or are you good? Or They stopping? Oh, you said you're going to tell him when to stop? Hustle. You're taking two. You, MJ, you going to two. Ready to run. Go. Fast you can to two. Take off. Cut the corner real fast. Go. Keep going. Keep going. Go. Stay, stay, stay. Go. Base is loaded. Base is loaded. Base is loaded. Not, okay, that loaded. Well, stay. Oh, my God. Go, well. Go, well. Stay, well, stay. One foot off the bag. Everybody, don't ever bag two feet on that bag like that, man. Ready to run, okay? Go. Hustle, Emily. Hustle. Take two. Take two. Take two. Take two. Take two. Hustle, hustle, hustle. You have to take the bag. Hold on, Emily. Come back. You have to take the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all don't forget to tag the plate. Everybody ready? Go. Hustle, 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 hustle. Take two, take two, take two. Steal it, steal it, go. Go. <laughs> hustle. Everybody going, everybody going, everybody going. Take two, take two, take two. Go, 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 go. One foot off the bed, JV. Uh -uh. Those one in the front. In the front. Be ready to run at all times. Pay attention, Go. Hustle. Get here, get here, get here. Take two. Take two. Tag in, keep it going. This first, you got mm -hmm. first base, okay? You got to make sure you every base is going around, okay? You got it. And we're going to two, okay? We're going to second base. That second base right there, we're allowed to second, okay? All right. Go. Run as fast as you can. Fast as you can. Fast as you can. Tag it. Tag it. Keep going. Go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Stay right there on that base. Stay on that base. There you go. One foot off the bag, okay? I got it. You got it. All right, Jill, gonna be ready to see what your part, what your teammate doing. Have one feet off the bag, facing the next base that you run into, okay? Put this one, put this foot in front. Point it at third base. Have you pointed at third base, you ready to run? You gotta look at him. You see him, Gio? Go. Gio, you gotta run, 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 run. Stay, 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 stay,
say? Hey, Gio, every time we do it, we're doing full speed, okay? How are you faster than that? You got to show. I'm going one more time, everybody, all right? In Espanol, dile chuy. Go. Hustle! Faster, 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 Gio, fast, 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 He said he needs some fresh air. Go, go, Emily, go. Hustle. Ooh, it's okay. It's muddy. Good job, y'all. Good job, y'all. He slipped. We ain't want to jeopardize the, um, him getting out in a second. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh. Hey, next time run full speed, Branson. I see you cheat me, man. Stop playing with me. Go! Good hustle, good hustle. All right. Bases are loaded. Yeah. Go! Faster, poppy, faster, poppy, faster. Oh, well. Hurry up, get back. Hurry up. You trying to get out? Pay attention. Yeah, if you're running in front of you, I ain't going. You gotta wait, man. Pay attention, Will. Go. Oh, goodness. Wait, no. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. go, 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 go. You always gotta run. Whoever hit the ball. Hey, MJ, what's your you just slow down at that base. Come on, man. Don't do that no more. You're gonna get out. Hey, next time, everybody taking two bases, okay? I see you. Go two bases, everybody. Go five says three. JV, you coming home? Wolf, you coming home? MJ, you should be at third. Elijah, you should be at second. Cause Elijah finna bring everybody in. He finna hit it to the outfield. Go. Hustle! Get that fast! Get that fast! Take two! Take two! Take two! Take two! Go, MJ! Hey, good job, good job. Hey, everybody, Gio finna send everybody home, okay? Everybody take home. Gio. Home run. Go. Everybody home, everybody home. Everybody home. Hustle, Gio, keep running. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Take. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Dale, 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 dale. Keep going, keep going. Don't forget to tag home plate. Yeah. Woo! Right, good first practice, y'all. <laughs> All right, y'all. We just had our first practice. It was pretty good. I think it was a good first practice. Um, We had two first year players there today everybody wasn't there i need to see where junior was at he wasn't there but for our first practice i think everybody did good our returning players did pretty good even our first year players um well one of them i wasn't worried about our girl i'm not worried about her because i don't know if y'all remember from last season if y'all was really tuned in to the baseball y'all probably learned some of the kids names and you know stuff but poppy poppy yeah that's his sister <laughs> So, I already knew. Like, they had started sending us videos of them practicing at home. And, yeah. Like, Poppy aging up. So, he was out there practicing with us a little bit. Um, but, he wasn't really practicing with us. He was there. He was just out there. You know, he's there. Like, they still out there now. Like, they was hitting some balls and stuff. Um, he moving up to 8U. So, but Emily is the sister. And she's coming. She's playing with us. So, like I said, they were sending us videos last season. And it was like, Poppy's leaving, but Mommy's coming. And Mommy ready. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, Gio, which was our recruit. Wolf homeboy. He had a pretty good first practice, I think. At the end, he kind of started trying to cry a little bit. But I'm like, it's okay. It's your first practice. It's your first time, you know, playing a sport. It's okay. <laughs> I told you, for football, Wolf cried for the first two weeks practice. <laughs> 
he cried the first two weeks so i get it i get it for sure but he actually did pretty good for his first practice and then like everybody else he had um jv that's um my homegirl Brittany's son he played before he played last year at another park with our um fortune homeboy son he played with him but they seem aging up too so we went ahead we asked her last year like can you come play y'all need to come play over here with us so he playing with us and he did pretty good today everybody did good y'all everybody and then all our four returning players they did good they did good we just got to get everybody out here like i said the season don't actually start until april so it's january 29th today like usually we've been practicing so freaking late like in march by the time april come baby <laughs> Like, even if we, we just practice in two days a week right now, if the weather permits, you know, and only for an hour, but we're going to do the best, the most we can do in that hour to get it done. And they're going to be already familiar. Like, at least we learning the little flaws and stuff. We're going to work all this stuff out before that time even comes. Like, throughout February, we're going to work out all them little kinks. Like, so when March here, we straight, <laughs> we doing, we doing, we practicing on some specialty drills, you know, we're trying to get all the basics out of the way now through the month of February. So that they can actually be on that level come March and then from the season start April. Like, I already know. We play we did this twice. Teams, especially teams who aren't who aren't already together, like they practice late because sign ups don't start sign ups are not over until um the end of March I mean end of February, beginning of March. So they don't even have their teams until March something. We already got our team locked down. We added another player today, too. Um, so, we're at 12 on our roster. We're at 12. Like, we really got our full roster complete. Unless they try to just add, a, like, a player or two, which we're not really looking for, like, a whole big... I told y'all. We told y'all. Last year, we had, twenty, like, 21 kids. Like, we had way too many kids. So, like, even our heavy hitter batters and stuff, they couldn't even... Oh, shoot. I don't know. I'm going to up. They couldn't even get... They sometimes, if the game was a low-scoring game... Like if the outs was coming quick, our low scoring people. I mean, our high, our high good batters. They don't, they only got to hit one time, you know. The other team was actually playing defense. We only got everybody only got to hit one time. We trying to let people hit more than once, you know, for sure. We really trying to make it so everybody's so good off that tee at least, because it's still tee ball. We are still in tee ball, but everybody's like the rules of this is. At seven runs, you got to switch out. Like, you can't just go crazy on them and dog them out like that. So, if you get seven runs and one inning, you got to switch out. Regardless if you got one out, two out, three outs, whatever. Like, you know, you have to, you got to switch out at seven. At seven. So, we trying to have it so everybody, we get seven on the board every time. Yeah, daddy. That's cool. Yeah. Um, it got our 13. What is up, my good people? It's another blessed day to be in y'all presence. What's up? I know this bump. We're not gonna talk about it. If y'all can ignore it, I can ignore it. Or at least I cannot talk about it. <laughs> Let me go ahead and change my day up. I'm gonna work bright and early per usual. Today is Tuesday, January 30th. When y'all are watching it, probably like it's already in February, I'm sure trying to catch up y'all so we'll get there we're getting there we're getting there i'm trying to catch up um so yeah today is tuesday february i mean january 30th and i am about to go into a panic i'm just playing i'm not going i'm not i'm not really in a panic at all but yeah, my birthday is coming up so this morning i did post on instagram for people to help me come up with birthday ideas y'all because i don't know what i want to do this year like I think my main thing is like, okay, who do I want to celebrate with? Um, what type of energy am I looking for? Like, am I looking, am I looking for like a turn up? Am I looking for peace, relaxation? I don't know. It's kind of like I want all of it. Like, do I want to go throw some money? Like, like what I want? What do I want to do? I heard that this year like i think and because i feel like i'm a little bit more i have a little bit more pressure on it for me for myself not for nobody else i'm not a pressure for nobody else for me because i'm actually having a real birthday this year it's like when i actually be the 29th it's actually going to be a february 29th this year and 
all these years I done had plans. And then when I'm actually having a birthday, my own special birthday, I don't know what to do for it. So I do want y'all to help me. Give me just throw me out some ideas, y'all. It's like I know, but I don't know, okay? So um what I've talked about thus far is stuff like um doing a birthday dinner. Turn my light on. I thought I thought about well, I've talked about today doing a birthday dinner. Um, on my birthday on February 29th. So I'm thinking I need to look on my phone in. I'm thinking about making my birthday day like a pamper day for myself. I was trying to see should I get my hair done and stuff before the end. But I think but the only re the only way I'm gonna really wanna book an appointment well, my hair gonna get done regardless. I'm gonna do my micro links. So I already got the hair. Please let Kayla still have something open on her books. She has something open. She had some appointments open. Um. See, my homegirl Shatira hit me up in there. Um, her sister just said Houston. Shatira did hit me up talking about the Houston rodeo. So. That could be a thing. I think it's just gonna be girls though. I think it's just gonna be the girls if we do that. So it's like, y'all know, I like to spend my birthday with my mans. <laughs> but it's, so is it gonna be like, okay, I spend my birthday dinner with my mans and then, like I know he like to celebrate my birthday. With, this is the thing, like I always celebrate his birthday with him. like. I'm big in planning his birthday. Like, not necessarily planning it, but if I don't set anything up, we probably won't do nothing, okay? Type thing for his birthday. Like, even though last year we went on a cruise with the kids, it was still like, we're going to do something. Because it's right there with my kids' birthday, your birthday, all you know, all. So, we're going to do something. Um, And he know I like to, the reason he probably just not trying to like plan it because he know I like to plan my own stuff he know you know I like to that's something that I like to do so I'm not saying he not trying to plan nothing it's just that he knows he want to get my approval type thing like you know so like going to Houston if we go I'll be here for my birthday I'll be here on that my birthday's on a Thursday so I'll be here on the 29th where I could celebrate with my family and whatnot. And then, like, Friday morning, me and the girls can hop on a flight and go to Houston to the Houston Rodeo. And it could be, that could be a vibe. It's just, like, we need, I need, it's so close notice now. So, it's like, baby, I need my friends to do their taxes or something. Because so, I don't, I really don't like to ask people to spend money. Like, okay, so we will have to buy the tickets for the rodeo. We'll have to buy the, um, pay for the Airbnb. Or a hotel and we probably go do an airbnb gotta pay for that and gotta pay for our flights to get there so that's asking somebody to come out almost a thousand dollars probably you know come out of pockets a thousand dollars people who are regular jobs and you know got bills and everything that's a lot to ask somebody to pay for it like right now like right now right now because it's right now that you have to pay for that you have to pay for put something on something right now right now like we really gotta be ready to secure the Airbnb like today. Like or you know, looking for flights. So it's like, okay. Shatara and Kaya on their way. They like, let's go to Houston. But at least I gotta get my best friend and I gotta see my name if she wants if she can go. I gotta see if my best friend can at least go. Yo. And that could be a vibe. They really could. I could do a birthday dinner on Thursday, on my birthday, and then go out of town. Much like my man. But it's okay, right? It's okay to not celebrate with your man. I need to talk to him about it again. But at the same time, my friends like they man too. So I don't know. They <laughs> Like, I don't know. I need to talk to my man. I need to talk to them first to see like so y'all not trying to bring y'all man cause y'all know I went to Miami that time us four couples it was a great time but I could understand if the dudes don't want to go to no rodeo but they don't gotta go to that party they could be at the, do whatever they want to do and then we could link up and go out or something at night 
I don't know. But then that's money out of that's a, that's more money out of everybody household. You know, at the same time, it's more money out of everybody household if we paying for two flights now. You know, type thing. In a short period of time. I don't know, y'all. But it still makes sense because it's like, okay, if I want to turn up. Turning up in Atlanta is very much expensive. <laughs> turning up in Atlanta is very much expensive, baby. Like, having to, like, if you get a section. When I had got fortunate section for his birthday at the strip club that year, I think I spent, like, 1500 15 to 2000 like 1500 probably covered like two bottles maybe a bottle or two bottles and then i end up still like ordering like 100 wings for everybody to eat and stuff like that so it's like baby i could have definitely took a trip for two thousand dollars i could have definitely went somewhere for two thousand dollars but i know if we do go to houston we're gonna probably go from friday to sunday so, yeah, I'm talking about flights, lodging, the rodeo. But I also got to think about the other stuff we're going to do because we're going to still be at everybody branch spot. We're going to still want to go out at night. Like, so we got to still, I got to, we got to still add all them costs in too. Oh my gosh. And like, it's fine. Like, I can't, look, first of all, I sent my tax stuff off yesterday, okay? Like, even if. <laughs> Even if, and I pray I get some money back for real this year. I usually get some money back, so you know, I like to send my money. I like to send my stuff off early on because I do want to have the extra, the extra, extra stacks in my pocket for my birthday. I like to know that I'm up, up, up on my birthday. Like, of course, I'm gonna still get my checks from, you know, work and everything. Like, I'm gonna still have some money, but it's not like, baby, I like to have that cushion. Or you feel like, baby, it's my birthday, I can buy whatever I want type of thing, you know? <laughs> but I can't count everybody else's pockets. So that's why sometimes it be hard to want to include everybody or other people in my birthday plans. Because I don't like for people to have to pay for stuff. Nor do I want to be the one to pay for nobody on my birthday, you know? You know? And I'm just talking about, like, okay, like different things. Like, I'm talking about, okay, if I get a section. I don't want to spend $2,000 on a set, $1,500 on a section just to go turn up for one night or like when I was talking about doing like a trip I can't expect everybody to come out of the pocket $2,500 to go to Jamaica with me for my birthday so it's like either I just can go somewhere with my man and I ain't got to worry about nobody else situations <laughs> or you know with my kids if we take a road trip somewhere like with my husband and kids like my family, I already, I'm definitely not ex I mean, like, that's why I'm gonna have a birthday dinner because my family can come to my birthday dinner and whatnot. But I definitely know, like, we already talking about planning, like, my brother, I need to call, that's what I need to do right now. I need to be on the phone with Carnival. We're planning on doing a, um, a cruise in for my brother's birthday slash graduation. Yeah, I know Bryce graduating this year, so it's like, we trying to make we trying to start making payments on that so i'm definitely not gonna ask somebody like hey hold on wait we're not gonna make payments on Bryce's birthday yet for something that we've been had planned so we could go my birthday right quick you know like no i'm not gonna do that so i don't even want to include my family in going anywhere like other than to dinner for my birthday so what i need to do right now i do want to think i want to do a dinner i think i'm okay i'm talking this out with y'all but y'all can give me your ideas too but i know once i start when i get something in my head i move quick on it but I did ask God for this. I literally prayed for this this morning for me to um really get on this. Because, like I said, once I get something in my head and that's what the plan is, I'm going to move. <laughs> I'm going to move. So, I need to figure out. I did find a dress that I want. I, I do want to take pictures. I do want to take pictures. I know that. I kind of want to do a little video shoot, but not really. I really... I'm kind of behind on it. I'm too late on it for real on how I wanted to do it. Because I wanted it to be my intro for the whole month of February. But. Um, I don't have a dress yet. But I do know a dress. I got a dress in my shopping cart. So I know a dress that I want to go with. To go with my nails that I showed y'all. That TT Nails ain't me. I have a dress in my shopping cart. So I need to order that. 
Because once I have my stuff in, once I have it, like, I'm going to act on everything. Because I'm going to schedule my photo shoot or whatever. I kind of want to do a video shoot. Because, like I said, I got a little snippet of a song. Probably not even that long. Maybe, like, 20, 15, 20 seconds of a song. A little thing that I came up with just for, like, my birthday. And I thought it would be cute for an intro for the month of February. But, like I said, I'm too far behind on it. Like, when y'all watching this, it's already February. And I ain't putting no action into nothing. I got a wig that a company sent me which is another sponsor content video i need to do i got three videos i need to record hopefully i can do that tonight for real but um i got a wig i don't know if it's necessarily like the style i would want for the dress and everything but it's it, sometimes it's okay like it might be like it might be appropriate i don't know what style i would really want to wear with the dress that i'm looking at let me order that dress because even if I don't do the photo shoot, which I still, it's like I don't care to do a photo shoot. Like, I, I don't know what I care for yet. I don't know. But I need to book an appointment. I need to book my hair appointment. That's what I'll do. I'll take out work on Friday and just get myself pretty. And if I do something, do go somewhere over the weekend, it's like, okay, my hair will be done. I'll get my hair done on my birthday. Like, I'll just literally take off just to pamper myself. Like, to go get my hair done, to go get my makeup done. Like, to just get pretty, you know? Like, I'll use my birthday to get pretty. And if I do have a birthday dinner, which I plan on doing, because I can't imagine me going all day to get all this stuff looking cute, and then I don't have nowhere to go. So, and it's not nothing major. I don't got nothing major. Like, I told you, I was literally looking at Nouveau, but Nouveau was talking too much. Like, as far as if I wanted to rent out a real room or something. Um, But if I just do family, I don't have to rent out a room. So I might just do family anyway. Uh, let me book this here for me. Yeah, y'all know I like to talk my thoughts out with y'all sometimes. So basically, give me some birthday ideas. It's like, y'all here, I kind of got some options, but kind of don't. <laughs> like, nothing is like book, nothing is taking place. Like, nothing's taking place. I just got some stuff that's in my head. And if we don't do Houston, it's like, okay, where can me and Bay go? Let me ask the girls. I think that's where I should start with. I should ask the girls if they trying to include their guys. And do I even have any other friends to go with me? <laughs> like, any of my friends. Like, Shasar and Kaya are my friends, of course. But it's like, first of all, we're like a, we're like a package. Like, me, Shasar, Kaya, Monet, we're a package. Like, us four together. Like, Shatara and Kaya are sisters. I'm going to be like a third wheel. You know? So, I got to at least have my best friend on board to go. Before I can even consider doing it. Um, installations. Micro link install. One, two, three. All right. Book. Please have my appointments. My day, my birthday still available, Kayla. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Oh yes, Thursday, February 29th, baby. Y'all see that? Y'all might not see it because it ain't focusing. Yeah, let me go ahead and book me an appointment. I'm gonna book it for that first appointment too, for 10 o'clock. Because by the time I drop my kids off at school, yeah, I just go straight there. I have time to go stop and give me a biscuit or something. Let me just book my hair appointment. So now I know one thing I'm doing on my birthday. I'm going to get my damn hair done. <laughs> at least. At the very least. I'm going to be ready. I'm going to look cute. Pay my deposit. I'm going to get my hair done. Y'all. Yeah. Alright y'all. I do need to call Carnival though and try to see can I figure out the package deal or deal or something for my family for um price thing. If not, we're gonna just book another way. I mean, I got my um travel agent stuff up, but I just want to get my on the phone. I like to talk to people. Keep cold. All right, y'all. Let me add it to my Google Calendar. Alright y'all, my appointment is booked for February 29, 2024 at 10 o'clock a.m. Say microlink install with Kayla. 
yes ma'am all right y'all so at least i did that <laughs> at least i've done that i booked a hair appointment i need to book a makeup appointment i need to figure out what i want to have for birthday dinner and I need to figure out the weekend. Let me ask the girls. Let me ask the girls, y'all. I'll be back. Y'all, I just got off. I just put up at Publix. I did a pickup. I um scheduled a pickup. I never did this before, so I don't even know what to do. But I know I'll be seeing people go in the store. I'll be seeing folks go in the store. I mean, they're gonna be like, man, who is not in here? But the pickup thing was full, y'all. I feel bad. I do feel bad. But the pickup line was the pickup. These people ain't picking up. They picked up. They in the wrong spot too. They picked, they, <laughs> they going in the store to get their groceries. And I'm just trying to pick my stuff up. I'm trying to pick my stuff up. But I know I've seen people. Excuse me. Excuse me. If you're picking up groceries, um, if you did a pickup, like on Instacart, uh, where do you pick them up at? What? If you order groceries on Instacart for pickup, mm -hmm. where do you pick them up at? Uh, we, yeah, our, one of our uh, phones would ring. We come out to. Oh, that's your what car. happens. That's what happens. I stay yeah. in the car. Okay, so nothing up here. Nothing up there. No, we don't have a kiosk. Oh. If you're, that's what. You're that's cool. so, okay, so I need to go to one of these. Well, they're all full. Yeah. So that's my question. Like, you know, all the parking spots are full. So what should I do? <laughs> uh, what's the name of your order? Brittany Marshall. Brittany Marshall. Mm -hmm. That cold. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Oh. Sorry, the spots was full. All the pickup spots was full, so I didn't know what to do. Yes, it's okay. Brittany. Uh huh. Okay. Hey, I forgot to come back. Yeah, my point is that. I like your shoes. Thank you. Are they fast? She walked A little bit. I can't walk in here. They're not that big. They're not that big. Yeah, she got it. I can't. I can't walk in here. They, um, I can be my dad. All right, y'all. So that was actually pretty easy. I got my stuff that I needed. Um, I'm making some wings tonight. But I got some wings. So I did end up ordering some more wings, some whole wings. I'm just going to have to cut them if I need more. Because y'all know last time I thought I got it's another bag of wings. So I didn't know. Y'all know last time Tyson played me with the wings. So I needed that. And I also needed like some poultry seasoning. Um, Because, baby, seasoning your chicken. Like my wings been so fine lately, right? I told y'all I had good on wings, man. That's why we've been on a whole little wing kick for a minute now. Well, like through the break and stuff. Through the Christmas break. Because my wings been busting. Like when I tell you, I top tail wings, top tail wings, baby. Hold on, Miss Mams. Don't bat me up. Bat me over. But um, the wings been top tail. And I had that poultry seasoning. That poultry seasoning really go crazy. So, yeah. I ran out last time. I think I ran out when I was making the whole chicken. So I had to get some. That's really what I was going to put this for. What I did order for. I'm like, that's crazy to just put an Instacart order in for one thing. So I did get like some lemon pepper because I got some bad lemon pepper right now. I had bought like a little cheap one. Well, I didn't buy it. When I did Instacart one time before. Hello. I did Instacart one time before. They didn't have the one I needed. So they, I took two to three for something. And it just tastes really like lemony and not. It ain't giving one to be gay. So I needed some more lemon pepper and stuff. Anyway, right now, y'all, I'm looking for some um, lashes because y'all see I look crazy. This looks absolutely ridiculous. I ain't going to get too close up on it. So I'm trying to say I want to do a strip just to hold me over until I can go get my lashes done. Or if I want to get some more of my clusters. I'm kind of thinking strip because these be kind of Oh, these are cute, though. This is a cute shape and I mean, cute length. That's a cute length right here. I might just get these. Damn, these got a lock on them, honey. They the girls must have been selling the lashes. That's crazy. <laughs> Let me see which ones. But these are the clusters I've been getting, y'all. I think the last time I got them, I got bold, maybe. I either got bold or curly. These are cute, but I don't need this again because I got it. But these are the press and goes. 
So I do want to get another some. I'm gonna do my lashes because I'm gonna do some sponsor content. My my lashes just look so crazy right now. So maybe I get these. Or do I want these? Um. If I need to get a pair of lashes off, you gotta get them off. Yes. Okay. All right, y'all. They got music playing in here. I don't feel like it's copyright, so I thought y'all. I know I said I was gonna come back when I got home, but y'all, if ribbed up was a person, he gotta be me right now. Okay? That is definitely me. I am ribbed up. These folks, it, it ain't just me. It's these folks. These folks got me ribbed up today. Like, <laughs> man, at work when I first seen me, cause I, you know, y'all know I get to work early. So most of the time I don't even come out of my office until I gotta go to the bathroom, which is usually about 11 o'clock or so. 10, 30, 11 o'clock. Depending on when that coffee hit. Or, you know, sometimes not for to lunch. Baby, I walked to that office today. Baby, I was like, oh. they like, girl, oh. you know, shut the office down. Type thing. But yeah, they had me reared up and then baby walking and going into public just now. <sighs> reared up. And I'm a girl's girl, so I'm definitely the type to compliment other people. So I fuck with all the, I fuck with all these girls. These, <laughs> got a special place in my heart for y'all folks. Cause I know if I see a girl and she and she on her she she stepping like she looks good, I'm gonna compliment her. That's one thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna compliment. If I like your hair, if I like your earrings, if I like your shoes, if I like your outfit, I'm going to tell you that I like it. <laughs> I'm gonna rev you up too. Cause that's the type of energy I just like to do. Like I'm not a I'm not a hater girl. So maybe if you look good, you look good, and I'm gonna tell you that every single time. So yeah, like do what I do. Like okay, girl. I'm like oh my god, like yes, appreciate. <laughs> and I think that my attitude, my like, you know, never come off like bougie. I'm not a bougie girl. I think that that you know. That just, you know, helps the situation now. Folks, you feel more inclined to give somebody a compliment when you know they're going to reciprocate and, you know, be like, thank you. You know, I ain't going to be like, mm. like, I'm not one of them at all. <laughs> at all. So, yeah, I just had to tell you because these folks got me ripped up today. I ain't sure you my whole outfit, which I already know what I got on. If I remember them white boots that I had got, I got these for Christmas last year. I remember them white boots and I got the same ones in black. That's what I got on today. This white dress and then my white boots. <laughs> I need to see if there's another parking spot up there actually. Let me see if there's another spot up there. Oh yeah, let me get up in. But yeah, y'all. I had to say that because when I just went to the car, about five people was like, okay girl, like your outfit. Ooh girl, ooh, look at her. Like. <laughs> It was just so much. <laughs> I said, he fuck got me ripped up today, baby. I'm like, baby, sometimes it be hard to compete with my own damn self in my outfit. It be hard to compete with my own self. Like, what could I wear tomorrow? And when I tell y'all, like, I am, like, so... I'm not cheap. But y'all know, I don't buy expensive clothes. Like, they would think I look like hundreds of dollars right now. They would think my outfit's hundreds of dollars, but I'm sure this dress is either from like Shein or Fashion Nova somewhere. Boots from Fashion Nova, I think. Or yeah, somewhere like that, Fashion Nova. So baby, <laughs> your girl is probably like wearing like a $60 outfit. This bump in my face is not helping me though. But probably like a $60 outfit, but they like, girl, you just gotta know how to put that shit on. I ain't trying to amp myself up, but sometimes you got to amp yourself up. Girl, you know how to put that shit on, because baby, what? Look at life again. It's cold. It's crowded. I look like a winter princess or some shit. Let me stop. Look at my kids, y'all. I'll talk to y'all in a minute for real for right now. The wings. Y'all already know what flavors we got. A little barbecue lemon pepper, a little hot with lemon pepper and powder ranch. And this is honey lemon pepper ranch. It's giving wing fest. It's giving wing fest. And of course, we got our fries in here. I like to put the lid on them after they come out and season them so that they can be a little bit more softer. So they are doing that right now, but they look amazing. So yeah, y'all, I'm gonna feed my family. I'm gonna feed the fam and it's gonna be time to eat. Okay, let's go. All right, you guys, I'm about to go ahead and end this vlog.
The boys wanted to watch a movie tonight. So we got to watch a movie. Y'all ready? Yes. Like, this is the on the floor. But this is the movie. I think it's a preview. Maybe not that. I think it's just a preview. Yeah, that's a preview. But alright, y'all. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye, Marshall family. <laughs> What's up, Marshall family? Love you. Love you. Hi, guys. Are you going to get something?